Well, you know, as we sit and watch the Spurs sort of sort of play their cards here with Kawhi Leonard, you get all these narratives out here, what they're asking for, what teams are offering, blah, 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 blah. Cut through the chase for me. As it stands right now with Kawhi Leonard and the Spurs, where are we? The, the Spurs are in no rush to do a deal. Well, they're in no rush to do a bad deal. There we go. Okay. You know, they would like to they would like to end this. They want to get if, past it. Yeah, they do if they can't repair this relationship. And the way that they'll do a deal right now is if they get no one ever gets everything they want. That's pretty rare. I mean, you, you look back, Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony traded with New York back in 2010 11. Mm -hmm. You know, that was a gigantic haul. Those days are over. So the Spurs right now talks with Boston, the Lakers, Philadelphia, a lot of other teams have inquired. There's a cautiousness to the teams. One, because the teams outside LA don't know that they can re sign him. Right. They're also concerned about the injury and the medical um, where he is. And the Lakers feel like we are going to, right now, their stand has been we're not going to gut our roster of young players and assets for a player we think we can get in free agency next summer who says he wants to come play here. Let me ask you about another name because you go back about 16, 18 months ago, there was talk that Isaiah Thomas could be in line for a max contract from the Celtics. Of course, he had the injury in the playoffs, went to Cleveland, now to the Lakers, and now it's like, where is Isaiah Thomas? What is the talk about him and where he's going to be next year? Well, it's a far different reality now yeah. for Isaiah Thomas than – he had in Boston before the Kyrie Irving trade. And, you know, the injury, you know, like the Marcus Cousins, the injury changes the market for Absolutely. him. Absolutely. There's tremendous interest in Isaiah, largely as a backup point guard for most teams right now. Um, teams that I've talked to who have really evaluated his medical, you know, he had the procedure and he's been working his way back. Right. And they like what they see. They're encouraged sure. at a player who they think can be on the court. And, is it, is it going to be the Isaiah of Boston, 50-point games in the playoffs? I'm not sure anybody believes that anymore. But he doesn't have to be that to be a really productive player and a player that's garnering a lot of interest. I think you'll see um, talks with him start to heat up in the next few days as we've gotten through that first wave of players. There's not a lot of salary cap space left. True. It's almost assuredly going to be a one-year deal. But he needs, like Cousins in some ways, a one-year deal to show he's healthy again. Right. And, and to get back out on the market next year. But I, there is great interest in him, and, and there is encouragement from teams um, that, that, he can, that he will be healthy. Wow. In line for maybe a max contract, and now be happy to get a one-year deal on a good team coming up this season. How will the Felton deal impact the Thunder payroll? <laughs> it, it pushes right now that Thunder payroll over an historic threshold, $300 million in payroll and luxury tax that the Thunder will be faced with paying at the end of the season um, if the roster stays the way it's constituted now. But I do expect that the, there'll be some alterations to this roster. You don't have to pay the luxury tax until people see what your payroll is, or, or the league sees what your payroll is at the end of the year. The one option the Thunder have is a wave and stretch provision on Carmelo Anthony, his nearly $29 million a year. That would cut that bill almost in a third, but they, they haven't made a decision yet on that. So expect changes. Yeah, that, that yeah. For, for New York or Chicago or L.A., that would be a tremendous payroll, never mind paying that bill in Oklahoma City, a small market.